Hello everyone. This is Innovative Electronics YouTube channel. This video is part of a series of basic electronics tutorials, and today we're going to learn about joysticks. The structure, the operating principle and the joystick connection diagram will be presented in this video. If you have any suggestions about the content and explanation, please comment below the video so we can improve them. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you find this video useful. Okay. Let's start. When you hear the word thumb joystick, the first thing that comes to mind is the game controllers. They are mainly used for playing games, although in DIY electronics, there are a lot of fun things you can do with it. Like controlling a robot, a rover or controlling the movement of camera, these are just the tip of the iceberg. So how is the joystick structured? As you can see this is a joystick very similar to the analog joysticks on PS controllers. It is a self-centering spring-loaded joystick, meaning when you release the joystick it will center itself. The goal of the joystick is to measure motion in two axes. This is achieved by housing two independent potentiometers, one per axis. These potentiometers are used as dual adjustable voltage dividers, providing two axis analog input in a control stick form. The potentiometers are the two yellow boxes on the sides of the joystick. If you move the joystick while watching the center shaft of each potentiometer, you'll see that each of the potentiometers pick up movement in only one direction. We will discuss how they actually work a little later. This joystick also contains a switch which activates when you push down on the cap. The switch is the small black box on the rear of the joystick. If you push down on the cap, you can see a lever pushing down on the head of the switch. The lever works no matter what position the joystick is in. Then let's talk about how they can work. When you rotate the joystick, the thumb handle moves a narrow rod that sits in two rotatable slotted shafts. One of the shafts allows motion in the x-axis, left and right motion, while the other allows motion in the y-axis, up and down motion. Tilting the stick forward and backward pivots the y-axis shaft from side to side. Tilting it left to right pivots the x-axis shaft. When you move the stick diagonally, it pivots both shafts. A potentiometer is connected to each joystick shaft that interprets the position of the rod as analog readings. Moving the slotted shafts rotates the contact arm of the potentiometer. In other words, if you push the stick all the way forward, it will turn the potentiometer contact arm to one end of the track, and if you pull it back toward you, it will turn the contact arm the other way. In order to read the joystick's physical position, we need to measure the change in resistance of a potentiometer. This change can be read by an Arduino analog pin using ADC. The graphic below shows the X and Y directions and also gives an indication of how the outputs will respond when the joystick is pushed in various directions. As the Arduino board has an ADC resolution of 10 bits, the values on each analog channel can vary from 0 to 1023. So, if the stick is moved on x-axis from one end to the other, the x-values will change from 0 to 1023 and similar thing happens when moved along the y-axis. When the joystick stays in its center position the value is around 512. Let's have a look at the pinout of two-axis thumb joystick module. GND is the ground pin which we connect the GND pin on the circuit. VCC supplies power for the module. You can connect it to 5V output from your Arduino. VRX gives readout of the joystick in the horizontal direction, that is how far left and right the joystick is pushed. VRY gives readout of the joystick in the vertical direction, that is how far up and down the joystick is pushed. SW is the output from the push button. It's normally open, meaning the digital readout from the SW pin will be high. When the button is pushed, it will connect to GND, giving output low. Okay then how to connect the joystick to the circuit. 
Here, we have drawn the connection diagram between joystick and Arduino Uno R3 circuit using Fritzing software. Other Arduino modules you can connect in a similar way. First, the power supply for the joystick will be used directly from the Arduino, so we need to connect the GND and 5V pins of the joystick to the GND and 5V pins of the Arduino respectively. Next, because the return data is at 2 pins VRX, VRY is analog data, we need to connect them to the analog pins of the Arduino. Here, pins A0 and A1 have been selected. Finally, the data pin SW is connected to pin 9 of the Arduino to read the state of the push button. Now let's take a look at the code that communicates with the joystick using the Arduino software. An Arduino code program consists of two main functions, the setup function and the loop function, in which the setup function runs only once at startup. In this setup function, we initialize the serial configuration with a baud rate of 9600, and configure pin 9 as the input pin to be able to read the state of the button. In the loop function, we continuously read the status of the pins connected to the joystick, including two analog pins and one digital pin. The results of these pins are sent continuously through the serial port. Now, let's set up the real system and test the joystick with me. As you can see, the return data consists of three values, the x-axis value, the y-axis value, and the state of the button. When I move the joystick to different positions, the return axis value changes. When I press the joystick, the button state will return 1, and when I release it, the value will be 0. Okay. So that's the end for today. Hope you already have the basic knowledge about joystick. Thank you.